All right, and the fourth type of charge is, or charging, is charging by induction resulting in a permanent charge. This is very similar to charging by induction resulting in a temporary charge um, in the sense that these objects do not need to come into contact with each other, just one has to get close to the other. The difference, though, is this. We have a connection to the ground, and you're going to see in a second why that's so important. So if we just sort of roll this animation, you'll see how it's very similar to what we saw in charging by induction resulting in a temporary charge, because when we start to move this, um, you'll see that those objects start to get repelled. These negative charges here start to get repelled by this negatively charged object, except because there's a connection to the ground, this connection here, these negative charges now have a place to go. And what I mean by that is if you watch this and that object starts to get close, these negative charges actually can escape into the ground. Now, it's at this point where if we carefully time this, we can remove the connection to the ground. Because you can see here, all these electrons have sort of negative charges have escaped into the ground. And if we remove this connection, and we now sort of remove this charged object, you'll see that there is no way for those negative charges to come back up into here and have this stay as a neutral object. They're sort of trapped in the ground because the connection is now broken. And what you're left with is this positively charged object. And that is a positive object. This negatively charged object can just sort of go away. And this will stay as a positively charged object. That's why we call this a permanent charge. So that's charging by induction resulting in a permanent charge. Let's take a look at what would happen if we were to sort of switch this up and we start off with, let's say, a positively charged object. And here's our neutral object. There's our connection to the ground. You can kind of see where I'm going with this because you can see there's negative charges there. Again, we have to understand that the ground is this big reservoir or tub of charges. So there's simply certainly no shortage of negative charges that can either come up or go down. So if we start to move this animation forward, let's go. And you'll see here that as this positively charged object gets closer and closer to this neutral object, this overall positive charge is going to attract and draw up negative charges from the ground. And as they get closer and closer, you can, can see there that these negative charges sort of flood in. And if we, again, remove this connection to the ground, we, when we start to remove this positively charged object, we're basically left now with this object that has this overall negative charge. And again, this is a permanent uh, negative charge. And so what we have here is a positively charged object and a negatively charged object. So there it is, charging by induction resulting in a permanent charge.